Ready? Okay. Hi guys. Your friendly Captain Obed here. We're in the 747-400 simulator. And once again, I've got my friend Dan doing some video taking there. He's doing a good job so far. So I just want to show you a high-speed rejected takeoff in a Boeing 747-400. This is what the uh, captain would do if he had to reject a takeoff at a fairly fast speed, around about 110 knots. Our, our V1 speed is 125. So about 10 or 15 knots below V1 speed, we're going to decide to reject the takeoff because something's going to fail or something's, we're going to get a particular warning that will force us to reject the takeoff. So we're setting it up now. We're on the ground in Taipei, runway 05 left, and we're intending to go to Hong Kong. So I'll set the thrust up now. Brakes are off, standing the thrust levers up to get the engines to stabilize first. We're looking for about 1.1, 1.1, there it is. I hit the toga, the thrust comes up. And we're on our way. parking brake I do nothing until the park brake is set having set the park brake I'll then go if we had some people at the back I'll say remain seated or whatever I wanted to say to them PM would then tell ATC cafe so 5 to 8 stopping and uh, if in this case we've got a fire cargo forward his call would probably be mayday 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 cafe 5 to 8 stopping on runway 05 left we've got a uh, cargo fire then I'll say to him come fire cargo forward checklist and that's it and we'll take it from there this procedures would we'll go through but that's the basic stop thrust levers I called stop and the way I put my hands I put my hands like that Dan if you can show this during the takeoff I have my hands like this like that so that when I pull for stop I hit that and pull the thrust levers back then I pull the speed brake and go straight to reverse thrust. Those are the actions. Some aeroplanes you just close the thrust levers and re pull reverse thrust. The action of pulling reverse thrust will pull the speed brake. But the Boeing 747 was actually certified the way I just did it now. If the speed brake doesn't deploy, you'd have to pull it yourself anyway. Although the 747 would do the same thing if I did. If I pull the speed brake, if I pull the reverser now, see the speed brake is down. Watch this. If I had the thrust up and I did that and then pulled that, there you go, it deploys. So it works just like 787, just like all those other airplanes. The procedure though is thrust lever, so I do that manually pull, then reverse thrust. 747 400. That's it. Reject the takeoff. Later.